Welcome to 41 Today Lifestyle, everyone. I'm Troy Thompson. I'm in the studio today with Dr. Stevenson and nurse practitioner Lauren. And of course, they are from Optum Neurosurgery. Today, we're talking all about peripheral nerves. Welcome to the show, my friends. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, peripheral nerves. Explain to everyone what they are, because I don't know either. Okay. And what use are they in our body on a daily basis? Think of the nervous system like a tree. Okay. So your brain are the roots. The trunk of the tree is your spine. Right. And all the branches that get smaller and smaller the further out you go is the peripheral nervous system. Okay. All right. So the peripheral nervous system uh, allows you to feel things. It goes, supplies muscles in the arms and legs. Uh, really does the work of the nervous system. All right. Well, here's a question. What damage can be done to your peripheral nerve system? Is that so the right a, lot, a lot of sure. the injuries we see or a lot of the problems patients come in with are like nerve entrapment syndromes, like carpal tunnel, everybody's heard of that, where yeah. you get a, a pinching of the nerve at the wrist. Cubital tunnel, which is at the elbow, you can also have it in your legs. Um, nerve injuries, um, so motor Say vehicle you, accidents gonna, yes. or things like that, a cut injury, um, tumors. Okay, well let's talk a little bit about the symptoms of what someone would be feeling. I think you sort of touched on it a little bit. Tingling, tightness. Yeah. Right, so um, if you have uh, any change in sensation, and that can even be increased or abnormal sensation, mm. a feeling uh, patients describe like ants crawling down their leg, really? or burning, um, weakness. Uh, you can have shrinkage of the muscles. Um, or just loss of function. If, if you're walking and all of a sudden you realize my foot doesn't lift up when I'm walking, uh, that's a peripheral nerve problem. So it's not like when we, you know, if we're sitting down for quite some time and we call it um, our leg goes to sleep. It can. What is the reason for that? Has that got something to do with our nerves? We've been sitting on it too long or? It has something to do with your nerves and that, that sensation is provided by the nerves. But when, you're, when your foot falls asleep, it's a, a lack of blood flow. Okay. And as it wakes up, the blood's going back in there. But very similar uh, feelings can be experienced with a nerve problem. So for example, carpal tunnel syndrome. A common thing is people wake up in the middle of the night, these two fingers are numb, they think it's fallen asleep, so they'll shake their hand like this, trying yes. to wake it up or get blood flow in there. I've done that. I've done it. Well, you should stop by the office. Really? I've got a problem? Yet again, <laughs> another problem? <laughs> I've been doing these interviews so long I diagnosed myself, <laughs> you know. That could be dangerous. <laughs> Problem. Um, if we have issues with uh -huh. some of these and we may need surgery or once we're diagnosed, what's the next step and what options are available? So we're very conservative with the treatment. I would say unless there is, you know, like a cut injury or a tumor or something like that, like surgery might obviously be your best option. Um, but for the person who comes in that's just started, you know, when I'm driving, I get numbness and tingling in my hands or arms. We may start them with splinting, um, like a carpal tunnel splint or an elbow splint at night if it happens really? more at nighttime. Anti-inflammatories as well, like a leave ibuprofen. Okay. And kind of see how they do. So let's just say I do have numbness in my fingers and you know i can't seem to get rid of that numbness i'm not coming into you on the first day of numbness right and what are you doing to determine if they have these issues i mean the most what are the tests sure well the most important test is to actually talk to and examine the patient mm. peripheral nerves run in very predictable patterns so we poke people and test their muscle strength but the the ultimate peripheral nerve test is a test called an electromyogram or an emg um kind of like an EKG of right. the nerves. And it, it can tell us what the problem is, where it is, and, and from there, treatment options. I got you. So is that a, a process of around an hour or something like that, depending on what the issues are? Right, and you know, we obviously take as much time as yeah. we need with the patient to get things figured out. Uh, but yeah, I'd say an hour is probably yeah. a, a safe All right. time estimate. Thank you for coming in. Always great information. Now I know what peripheral nerves are. And you know where the office is. <laughs> and I know where the office is for my numb hands. We appreciate you. Thank if you, you want to find all, all more information about Dr. Stevenson and, of course, his amazing team, there it all is up on the screen for you. Optum Neurosurgery, give them a call. If you're like me, you need a little bit more education, they're always there to help. <laughs>